Welcome to the second annual Father's Day Match for a Cause. Today, we are at the Weston Kierlid Golf Club in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. Golf Week Magazine lists this facility as one of the best courses you can play. Three nine-hole tracks here at Kierlin provide an amazing golf experience for players of all levels. Today, our father-son teams will be playing the Ironwood and Acacia Nines. Without further ado, let's meet our star-studded field, starting with Team Lehman. Tom Lehman is a major champion and Ryder Cup captain. His son Thomas is an aspiring tour player. Team O'Meara includes Mark O'Meara, who is also a major champion and a Hall of Famer, and his son Sean, a fashion mogul with Duvin Design. Let's tee it up for this year's Father's Day Match for a Cause. Greetings and welcome to a very special edition of Match Play TV, the Father's Day Match for a Cause. I'm your host, Ray Adams, today. Coming from the Weston Kierlin Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona, what a beautiful day it is. We thank them so much for hosting us and for you joining us again for the second year, this Father's Day Match for a Cause. And co-hosting with me today and talking with the players out on the golf course is Jill Manstreit from Versatile Golf. She's an LPGA professional. Jill, welcome. Thank you so much. So excited to be back here for a second year. Absolutely. We can't wait to get started. We're going to be talking about the format. Jill, tell us, how are we playing this game today? You bet. So today we've got a great competition going out on the golf course here at Western Carolina Golf Club. We're going to be playing an 18-hole match play with a little bit of a twist. On the front nine, the teams are going to be playing in a two-person best ball match competition. And when we make the turn out to their signature Acacia golf course, we're switching it up to a scramble match play. It's going to be a scramble all day, Jill. It's going to be a lot of fun in the Father's Day match for a cause. You're right, Ray. It is going to be a fun match. Let's go out to hole number one, where Team O'Meara has the honors. Nice. Kabam. Well, good play. Oh, look go. at that Lovely. beautiful Very ball. Very nice. That ball. OK, beautiful. there's a combined five like yards out. of curve on both of those. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Close Thomas. Close to the cart path. Lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, That's swing. beautiful. Curve, baby. I didn't even see him nice. swing. It was so fast. Come on. <laughs> That's had some serious. There. Beautiful there go. drive. Good yeah, swing. beauty. Yeah. Good shot. Nice shot. Four very, pretty shots, very guys. Good. Like, nice start. Tom's up first. He's 160 out. Kick left. Come on down. Nice shot. Mark's got 151 to the hole. Thomas with a flip wedge. Yeah, beauty. Shot, Thanks. Thomas. Yeah, good shot. Sean's up first with a birdie try. Reach, come on. Go on now. Come on. They're not quite that fast. Not that fast, huh? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Tom's got a downhiller for birdie. Good try. Here's Sean trying to save par. Stay up. All right, good try. Thomas for birdie. I hammered it. Whoa. Mark from four feet for par. There All right, go. good putt. Thank you. Putt. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. And Tom to tie the hole. Yep, good, good putt, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be out later. Nice. Nice swing. Gorgeous. Boom. Boom, boom. Beauty. Whoops. Lovely, Mo. Push it, win. Ooh, leak. Sit. Thank you. All right, Tom, former Ryder Cup captain, many time a Ryder Cup player. Give us an inside for the folks secret of how you play match play. I'm talking about what the tour players oh, know yeah. that we don't know. Well, you can't give away anything, first of all. You know, the, the minute you start giving away freebies, you lose, meaning, you know, you can't afford to make stupid mistakes, miss short putts. You got to take advantage of the opportunities. And the minute you start giving things away for free, 
three putting from 12 feet or something like that, you lose. So that's, that's rule number one. So you don't give anything away. And then the second thing is you just keep the pressure on always. I mean, you just never, ever, ever stop, uh, you know, putting pressure on the other guy. And, you know, if he ends up playing better and beating you, that's one thing. But, but you just don't want to give him something easy. Tom Lehman, Ryder Cup captain, mm -hmm. holds the Claret Jug as well. He knows. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, nice one, shot Tom. There. Good shot. Thank you. Mm, that sounded oh. crispy. Beautiful shot. All right, nice. good shot. Nice shot. Most good improved. Shot, it doesn't matter what you hit. You know you what, hit, it's all hit, about pin high. You hit them all close. No, I don't, I don't, Tom, but I'm trying. Thomas. Reach, go. For birdie. Go, go, go. Give it to him. Good try. Oh, mm. Good roll. Good try, that's good. Yeah, good save from there, Vlad. Thanks. Very good. Good putt, Thomas. Thank you. Here's Mark for birdie. Give it to him. Yep. Love good it. Good putt. Thank you. Nice putt. Love it. Thank you. Makes the game look easy, doesn't he? <laughs> It helps to make a putt once in a while, as you know, Tom. Yeah, yeah. beauty. Great nice putt. putt. Thank nice you. birdie. Really nice. This is. These guys in. make a lot of putts. And Sean for birdie. Oh. Just a little harder or a little higher. Good try. No bueno. Nice putt, Dad. Thanks, Thomas. Really nice. This one up there. We'll get back to the action after these messages. Golf only exists because it's fun. What is special about golf is the relationships. Being out there with your family, your friends, so many different chances and opportunities are presented from the game of golf. Tune is brilliant. It's always first class experiences. Courses that they run, they want it to be a, as good as possible, and it makes a big difference for the experience. Why wouldn't you select Trim? You're selecting the best of the best. You know the quality you're getting. You know the experience you're getting. There's nobody better. I feel the need, the need for the right speed. Talk to me, Gooseneck. Hmm, looks dangerous. Lock it in, baby. Lock it in. Never leave your wingman. Never, ever leave your wingman. Every player needs a wingman. Is that Bernhardt? Oh, great, Langer. <laughs> you know why I play Tour Edge? Because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. The industry-leading ESP1 portable launch monitor now pairs with a brand new free ES Range app on your phone to utilize detailed data points while giving you brand new features to fine-tune your game. These breakthrough features include voice control and user assist shot tracing, interactive games, and skills challenges. Take your game to the next level with the ESB1 Portable Launch Monitor. What's the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's going to be great. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great Clips, it's going to be great. Golf is more than just a game, and that's why an AGA membership provides you with more than just a USGA handicap. Being a member of the Arizona Golf Association offers you a way to stay connected to the golf community, but an AGA membership does even more. Members receive special discount offers, both local and across the country, and the AGA hosts competitive amateur tournaments as well as tournaments for the player who just wants to have fun. No matter your level of love for the game, join the AGA by going to azgolf.org and start receiving all the benefits of the AGA today. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. So the match is all square as we are on the number three tee box on Ironwood. This is the first of five par threes today and all the par threes we have are closest to the pin competition. This particular one is hosted by our friends at the Weston Carolyn Golf Club. Here's Sean with a seven iron. Oh baby. Good swing. Boy does that look good. It's got to go a little bit. I mean, that'll it's do. like a moon ball. I know. That thing's like yeah, up there, like, like uh, Is that a seven? It's a bubble. Mark's got a five iron. Hey, you're counting next week, huh? I am, yeah. Another one. A little coin in the pocket, dude. 
Yeah. As good as I got. Go in. Come on, don't be clipping Go me. in. Oh, are you kidding me? Go in! Oh. A little long. Thomas has pulled an eight iron. He's going to hoist this one way up in the air. Oh, yeah. A little good one there. Hit it, win. Push it back. Damn. It's a good shot, though. Good swing. Yeah. This one there. Ah. Good ball. You're dancing. Out of the way, Thomas. And Tom a short. with a six iron. Yeah, good swing. Curve. Swing there, Tom. Is that six, Tom? Yeah, good shot. Good shot, Sean. Tom's got the first run at a birdie. This one looks good. Look at this. Oh, Money oh yeah. You. This could be the turnaround. Yeah. Nice putt. Thank you. I thought you said you don't make putts. Yeah. Here's Mark from just off the green. Okay. A little too hard. I was going to say, I don't think it moves that much. That was a good Good stroke. try. Thank you. Thomas to match his dad's deuce. Reach. Reach. Right on line. Speed. Good roll. Two in a row. Another Jeez. one right on line, Thomas. Oh, man. Good Here's Sean to tie the hole. In there. Yep. Nice. Nice yeah. birdie. Wow. Very wow. Nice. Look pressure. at these two teams. Hey. You love pressure. Way love to go. It. Love it. Nice putt. Thanks. Nice well putt. done. Good putt. Appreciate right. it. Okay. Closest to the pin. Not bad. You won the first one. I like that. Do I get like it's, a little trip somewhere or something? There's a lot of bragging rights involved today, I'll take actually. it. With these guys, yeah. I don't mind beating these guys. And the guys. birdie on top of it. All it right, rocks. guys. Let's Thank head to the so next much. hole. Thanks for having me. You know, when we'd come out, as kids, like me, Michelle, mom, when you were playing tournaments, yep. I mean, obviously it's good to have family there, but did you feel like there was any like added pressure when we were there? No, I liked you guys being there. I thought having a support group, having my family there, having you and your sister and your mom out there pulling for me, you know, was nice because most of the time, majority of my life, you know, I've sat in a hotel room by myself and that's not a whole heck of a lot of fun. So I, I think it was a benefit having you guys out on the road with me when I was playing. I enjoyed it because I got to miss some school. And you got to go on a safari. You got to swim oh, with we the went, dolphins in yeah. Australia. You, you pretty much had it all going on around the world in two and a half weeks or three weeks. Yeah. It's not bad. It's a rough life for, yeah. a, for an eight-year-old. Nine-year-old. Nine-year-old. Yeah, yeah. nine, ten-year-old. Good deal. We'll get back to the action after these messages. Golf gloves have been around for over a century, but they never seem to stand the test of time. It's time to stop playing short-lived, frail, crusty leather gloves and start playing with game-changing claw golf gloves. Exclusive silicone palm provides consistent grip that never blackens, hardens, or tears. Breathable mesh promotes outstanding airflow, keeping hands cool and sweat-free. Add in being machine washable, the claw delivers more rounds than typical stale old leather gloves. Golfers, it's time to expect more from your golf glove. Check this out. I've got a proven new way for you to hit your drives longer, way longer. It's all about more speed, more than a driver, more than a ball, it's a system. It's easy, it's legal, and it's been designed just for you. With the speed system, I just got ridiculously more distance, 20 plus yards, it works. To find out how you can easily add 20 yards to your drives, go to add20yards.com right now. That's add20yards.com. Introducing Flag Assist, the simple, easy-to-use pin attachment that's changing the way people play the game. Flag Assist attaches to the flag pin to allow for faster, easier ball retrieval while eliminating turf damage around the cup. Fully allowable under the rules of golf, Flag Assist is customizable, creating new avenues for course promotion, advertising revenue, and enhanced guest experiences. Visit flagassistgolf.com to see what it can do for your course. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. All right, welcome to number five at Ironwood, the second of five par three holes. And the Laymans have gone one up. Got your work for you. Listen. This hole is brought to you by On Point Ball Markers. And I'm going to ask you, gentlemen, if you will, for this hole, okay. take an On Point Ball Marker. Okay. And please mark your balls yep. using the On Point Ball Marker. Thank you very awesome. much. Thank what if we you. don't need to mark it? 
then we have a wonderful story. Okay, <laughs> I will see you at the hole, Tom. All right, good enough. All right. Thomas with the honors. Oh, no. That was a seven iron heading left and long. Is it? Wow. Well, that's plenty of club, wasn't it? Tom's going with a five iron. We'll be there right there. Be the club beautiful today. Beautiful ball. one. I mean, why not? Oh, do kidding? it. Oh. Do it. Oh. Go in Go the in. hole. Oh, what a shot. Nice, Tom. Mm. Sean's got a six iron. Mm -hmm. well, There's another one. A little tuggy. Yeah, that's That'll work, though. though, I think. Okay, green light, Mo. Mark's got a four iron in his hands. Uh huh. Oh. Go in. Go in. Get up. Oh, I just oh, keep up going. No, nah, it's short, not bad. Nice. Pretty uh, good. Little sneaker. Didn't get an aim point. That's nice. On point ball mark. I Here's Thomas it. with his chip. Come on. All right. Sean for birdie. The speed looks good. Well, doesn't break right. that much. Yeah, not too, too bad. It didn't really move, did All it? Right, not bad. Good speed, bad read. Here's Tom for birdie. No. Good try. Good speed. Good that's speed. Good. That's good. Take it away. Scoop that guy. So here's Mark to win the hole. That went right. Hmm. Fire the caddy. It went right. That's good. That's good. All right. Number five is in the books. And Mark O'Meara, congratulations. You're the close to the pin winner on this hole. Thank you. And we thank On Point Ball Markers for being our sponsor of this hole. Where Mark, I gotta ask you a quick question um, while we're here though. You know, Father's Day is such an important day for the dads all over the world. Yeah. Tell me a special Father's Day memory with you and the kids. Well, I think a lot of it is it was always the Father's Day was always seemed to be the week the U.S. Open. So, you know, mm -hmm. back in the early days, you know, certainly Sean and Michelle would, would come to the U.S. Open. And, um, you know, I never won the U.S. Open, unfortunately, but uh, we've had some some good times. And, and the fact that Sean got to play a lot of time with my father. So, you know, the, the three of us together was as good as it gets. And that's what makes golf so special. Thank All right. You. Congratulations. Close with Thank the pin. You. Team O'Meara, still one down though. Let's go. I got it. Mm, great swing. That was money. Thank you. Really good. Out of the way, Thomas. Nice one, Thomas. Yep, good yeah, ball. Good shot. Good one there. Mm-hmm. Stay right there. Good shot. Out of the way. Nice. Good there shot. Go. Right. Golf. Mark's got 173 left. Sounded draw instead. Sean with a nine iron. I love how his socks match the hat. Get back there. It's high enough. A little short. Yeah. Tom from the middle of the fairway. Keep turning. That one just didn't run out. Okay. Thomas with just an easy wedge. Pushed it. Here's Mark with a long birdie try. Kind of like, oh, oh good putt. Good had a chance. Thank you. Sean's up next. He's aiming just a bit left. It didn't really move, did good it? Try. Didn't good good try. Didn't try. Huh? Tom now for birdie. This one's going to fall hard left. Oh, jeez. Thomas for the win. Is it high enough? Oh. Man, was that a lot of the hole. Holy smokes. So we head to number seven. Team Lehman still has the tee. Yes. Team. Lovely. Absolutely perfect. Thank you. Swing. By the way, Thomas. Thanks. Really good. And we're Thank not you. just kicking booty in every tournament, bro. <laughs> it's like your dad piping it. Lovely. Good one, Tom. Very Thank nice. Swing there, Tom. Thank you. Oh, I hit it good. Just hung it. Get lucky. Lovely. Right away. Good shot. Very Thank nice. You. Perfect. Okay, so great drives. We're the match is still at one up, and we got a little mid fairway pause, so I can ask a couple questions here. So a lot of families are together today on Father's Day, and a lot of parents do a take your child to work day. What was your first memory of your dad taking him to his office? Yeah. 
Um, well, I'm not sure if it was the earliest earliest memory, but probably one of the most memorable was when we went to Loch Lomond in Scotland, and it was just me and him. I was about eight or nine years old, and I would watch him play golf during the day, and then at night we'd go to some little par three course, par four executive course, and we'd just go out and play, just me and him. He would carry my bag, and I would, and I, and I would, and I would knock it. He would carry for you that early. He would carry for me, and I would just walk around and knock knock it around a little bit, and that was probably the week I fell in love with golf, honestly. Oh, so. Scotland's a good place to do yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. It's a good yeah, place for a lot of things. You yeah. got it. <laughs> right. Uh, All right, guys. Thanks yeah, so yeah, much. Thanks. We'll Thank keep you. it going. All right. Thanks, Jill. What a great Father's Day story. Oh, don't go left. All right. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. Sounded really good. Be good. the club. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Great shot. Thank you. Super shot right, there. Thomas. Here's Sean from just off the green for Eagle. Nice effort there, SO. Really good, good speed there, buddy. Tom came up just a little short. Here's his chip. Oh, Tom. He's tough with all the mud on that ball. Thomas for Eagle to win the hole. That's good. That's good. Tom for Birdie. Yeah, yeah beautiful, good Tom. Thank you. Really nice. Good putt. Beautiful, perfect line. Thank perfect. You. Good swing. Hang on, Thomas. Oh. Hang on. That's fine, isn't it? The other fairway? Yeah, you'll be oh, over where right. I was. Team O'Meara needs to get it going. They're still down in the match. Beauty. Yeah, good one. Good shot. Good shot. Here's Tom from the other oh. fairway. Fat. We're at the eighth fairway and Team Layman still one up. And I'm with one of our big sponsors, Tracy Tingyu from AZ Turf and More. Tracy, thank you so much for again, the second year in a row, being one of our important sponsors. And I want you to tell us all about AZ Turf and More. Great, and we appreciate you having us out. AZ Turf and More, family owned and operated business for over a decade. And uh, just glad to be part of a, an opportunity like this. Certainly some great golf, but AZ Turf and More um, offers everything from turf to putting greens, travertine, uh, pergolas, barbecues, fire pits, just anything that really can improve your backyard. Uh, we like to say quality fair, uh, products at a fair price um, and definitely something we can do in the, everybody's home. If you can think of it, that's the and more. Tracy can do it from AZ Turf and more. And Tracy, how important for you to come out, be a part of helping elevate Phoenix and the kids? Well, those uh, the organization, we can't say enough. Uh, we've had the opportunity through all this uh, COVID nonsense to uh, still be able to keep alive, do some great business, and uh, this is just an opportunity for us to give back, and we're we're happy to do it, um, and look for for uh, you know years to come in the future to be part of it again. Thanks, Tracy Tingyu, AZ Turf and more. Stay tuned. Here's Sean for birdie to win the hole. Hit it. Slow. Mm. Good man. That yeah, right to the so green there. Slow as dead center. All right, we're at the eighth green. The hole was finished, and Team O'Meara is still one down. Sean O'Meara, you are a styling man out here today. What is up with the filthy flamingo and your beautiful style? Tell me about that. I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, so I grew up kind of surfing and skating a good amount, uh, just being around the Florida area. So even though I was playing golf, I still kind of gravitated towards that kind of style and aspect of some beach wear, kind of fun and funky stuff. Uh, some of the kids I'd play with in junior golf are like, dude, what are you wearing, man? Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's fun, you know. Uh, golf is pretty, I would say, bland when it comes to kind of what guys are wearing out there. You're and flaring it up. No, you know, I just think it's a good way to kind of show your personality a little bit, you know? I love the socks, I love the pink, I love all of it. It all right. works together. You know, I let my dad do the playing stuff and I just try to look good out here. All right, I know your dad's depending on you and you him. Go have fun. I appreciate it, thanks guys. Here's Thomas on the par five ninth. Yeah, I That's I heading be a little left. That room over there. Everything kind of funnels right. Ah, His dad, go. though, nice. is in great That's shape. Thank you. Good shot. Oh, thanks. Head away. Good shot. There really really nice. you go. I pulled it just a little so tuggy. Just Hang on. Kick right. Come Get on, a bounce. Good luck. Oh, what a bad bounce. You having fun? I am. Could be working right now. Yeah. 
This is a little, I'm kind of working. This but. is a little better than me sitting in my office yeah. on the computer and phones. Thomas with his third. That's a good shot. Be good. Spin, spin now back. Come back. Oh, come on. A good shot. Here's Tom for birdie. I mean, why not? Good effort. Great speed. Mark with a birdie try down the hill. I'd say you got to roll it just inside this, right inside that piece I of I like that. Right yeah, there. like that kind of old pitch mark or that little piece of grass. Oh, yeah, just over inside that. OK. Sean for eagle to tie the match. Yep. Oh, yep, left. there it is. Nice eagle. Way to go. There it oh, is. Good three. Nice. nice three there, buddy. Thanks. Back to all square. Back to all square. Good. We'll get back to the action after these messages. I think it's important to start your day by getting your energy flowing and your body ready. That's great, but some days I need more. If you want to be great at something, it takes hard work and focus. Other times, I want more. There's nothing better than finding time to slow down for a meal with family and friends. Is there a chance of even more? It's absolutely amazing when you can sit around a fire to finish off the day. I'm so glad I found a place for all my mores. Quality products at a fair price. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. All right, we are at number 10 on the Acacia course. The back nine, we've made the turn. The teams have had some nourishment and we are ready to play some golf on this back nine. There is a different format. We're gonna be going with a scramble format. We did all of that just for Sean O'Meara. He loves that, that format, Love although it. I know all four will have some fun. And there are three par threes on this back nine, so stay tuned for those three close to the pin holes. How you feeling over there at Team O'Meara? You know, we feel good. Uh, Team Lehman played really well on the front nine. Both guys really hit the ball well, had a lot of opportunities, and we were fortunate on the ninth hole, we were one down, and Sean made the eagle on number nine, which pulled us, draw us even, so now we got everything to play for here on the back nine. Okay, Team Lehman, how about it? Well, you know, uh, KG scramble is a, is a young man's a young man's format. So I think, uh, right. you know, when you have the kind of club head speed that these two have and hit it, you know, I guess Mark and I better tune up the wedges, you know. But uh, it'll be fun. Uh, look at the O'Meara's are tough. They've always been tough in the father son golf tournament. Um, they'll be tough again today as they always are. All right, Team Layman, Team O'Meara, back nine, all square. Let's play some more golf. Mmm, beauty. The ultimate driving machine, M.O. Yeah, that'll work. We'll come off that hill. Yeah, that's where I wanted to go. I bet that's going to freaking chase. Hey. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good that's going to be Fine. deep. Nice. Oh, good one there. Huh? Lovely. Thank you. I think I can get an eight. Looks like the pin's in the front. Yeah, hit a good one. Take dead aim there, buddy. Pull it again. Good. Get up there. 
Oh, don't go right. Sean's going with an eight iron as well. Oh, thin. It's gotta go. Go. All right. Okay. Not bad. Ooh, that sounded good. Ah, uh, too far left. Stay right. Go. Okay. I think at least that's on top. And I think it kind of funnels back to your right. You know what I mean? I think you're going to be on that back tier. I thought that thing was on the back tier back here. Oh, back there? Yeah. Because you could see this little false yeah. one. It looked like it was almost past it. Tom, for birdie. Oh, just killed it. Sean, for birdie. That's a good putt. Good looking putt. a lot, speed. huh? Good speed, though. Here's Mark with a chance to win the hole. Stay up. Maybe. Stay up. Mm. Oh. Want to pick him up? Yeah, I mean, That's you good, good with that, Mo? Good, I'll good. Go good, good, yeah. Okay, cool. Good, good. Okay, so we are at number four of Acacia, and the match is now all squared up again. What a match you guys have got going on. And today, on this part three, it's sponsored by our friends from the Claw Golf Glove. Do you know that you can even wash this in the washing machine and it doesn't crack? That's what I need. All right, closest to the pin. Some bragging rights coming up right now. Thomas with a nine iron. Oh, jumped it. Still gonna get there. Still gonna get there. That looks good. Work. Shot, Thomas. Shot there. Jeez, that was talk about steep. Tom's got a seven iron in his hands. It's a golf shot. Keep drawing. Keep Come turning. down. Come down. Good one there. Yeah, good strike. Shot. Sean's pulled an eight iron. Mm -mm, it's know. a par three. You might as well hit it close. Come on. Bite. Boy, does that look good. Bite. Goodness gracious. Go oh, in. Oh, baby. Go, Go in. in. Good shot, folks. Nice. Very nice. Like the claw. Sean, are you going to do it again? You can wash the claw now. Don't forget that. Most improved off the chunk right wedge off. last hole. Mom says you can wash the claw glove. Mark's going with a seven iron. Well, look at Mo trying to sneak one inside no, me. Hang on. Automatic. Throwy. So deceiving. It looked like you guys were pin high. I thought I was right next to her. No. I thought you were three feet. Me max. too. Team Layman will putt first. Team Thomas for birdie. I am. Or almost a club. All right, left. We'll get to see if Tom learned anything from that putt. Great Good speed. Roll. Sean for the natural birdie. Nope. Now Mark. To win the hole. Does that do speed? That doesn't do speed. Stay up. It's snap, huh? Oh. You needed to get it outside the hole even more. It breaks left more it broke at the end. Hard, yeah, it broke hard at the end. We'll get back to the action after these messages. You've heard me talk about Squares Golf Shoes and how they help you hit the golf ball further. And many of you are saying, oh, come on, Faldo, give us a break. How is that possible? But yes, they do. And it's proven with science. What we noticed with the Square Shoes was the shoe keeps the pressure in a more stable fashion towards inside of the trail heel, allowing pressure to get to the lead side, generating much more club and speed and distance gain. Visit squares.com. Change your shoes, change your game. Squares, the distance golf shoe. Huh, Ridgeback. Ridgeback? That's pretty cool. So it's a brace for the face. Ridgeback. Like the dog? I don't know, I'm, I'm really a cat guy. So what is it? The best feeling and longest metal that you'll ever hit. Was that Bernhard? Oh great, Langer. <laughs> you know why I play Tour Edge? Because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. So Sunday morning at Augusta, roll a few putts on my perfect practice mat while I'm waiting for my breakfast. A combination of, of all the, you know, the putting mat and the laser and just keeping my practice routine very consistent that, you know, that's why I've had such success this year. Being able to practice, you know, it, even though it was indoors, you know, that, that was a, a big 
part of while successful at Houston and rolled it right over into Augusta. Visit us at www.perfectpractice.golf. What's the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's going to be great. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great Clips, it's going to be great. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. Can you think of a better way to spend a Father's Day than this? Oh, shakalaka. With dads and sons. Holy smokes, was that good. Spending the day together, chasing a little white ball around a beautiful track. A familiar foursome in a friendly match. With the real winner being a worthy charity and the kids they support. Good one there, boys. Nice birdie. All right, folks, the match is all square between Team Lehman and Team O'Meara. And here we are at number six, the Acacia Hole. This is another par three, gentlemen, close to the pin. Now, so far, Team Lehman, you know what your work is here. They've got all three of them so far. And this hole is brought to you by and sponsored by Flag Assist. This is a wonderful product that fits right over the ferrule at the bottom of the flag. And it stays there just like when you practice putting and you pop your ball out today, gentlemen. Let's ask you to keep the pin in for this particular hole. And I've seen many of you have been doing it all day for some of the holes. So let's keep the pin in. Flag assist will be there. All you do is pop your ball out after your ball goes in the cup. Number six, close to the pin. Thomas with a six iron. Oh no. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, Thomas. Tom's pulled a four iron. Sean's going with a five iron. Come join you over there, Mr. Lehman. Bunker. Oh, got out, a skippy. Out, yeah. That's the member bounce right there. Mark's decided on a three iron. Oh, there you go. Look at this, straighten out. There we go, there you good, go. that was like yours. Try to draw. There it is. Good swing, Mo. Another shot. Neary, it's two two. Thomas, from the greenside bunker. Oh, hold it. Got no. it. Oh. And now Tom. Line it. No. Oh. It's all right. All right. Had to go for it. Sean for birdie yeah, and the win. We got it. So Boom. Good. So good. Nice. Oh, there it is. Good putt. Look at that. For yeah. the birdie. Same wow. Up. Good read, bro. I'll give you guys a little love on that. Thank you. That's Thank a good you. Hole. Nice. Thank you very Come much. On, guys. Appreciate Thanks. you guys. All right, we've come to the green at number six, Acacia, the close of the pinhole, and Sean and Mark O'Meara, Team O'Meara, one more time, you're owning the par threes today, and with that birdie, what just happened, Sean? I think we just went one up. I and think that's did. the first and, lead and, for us. And what else did we have on this hole? And on this hole, we had Flag Assist sponsoring, and there's the wonderful product, USGA approval, the only one of its kind around the world. You just pop the ball right out like Mark Love O'Meara. It. Hall of Famer just did. Team O'Meara with the honors. Oh yeah. I don't even know how long this hole is. Oh! 340. Oh yeah. Mark's oh, got his hole. hands full <laughs> trying to chase that one. Well, that could be in the lake. Nope, you're right. Stay, stop, stop, stop. I, I might have to repel you down there to get the ball. Off the climbing ropes. I might leave it there while you don't come back. <laughs> Get it on the way back. And now Thomas. Ah. That one's yeah. heading left. Susan? I think that's okay over there. I think you're over those bunkers. I think that's just fairway down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, good one there. Ah, that's pure. Thank you. Good shot. All right, I'm standing on the number seven tee, and Team O'Meara and Team Lehman just teed off, striping it right down this beautiful hole over the water. And I'm with our technology partner and big sponsor of this Match for a Cause golf tournament with Todd Wagoner from Ernest Sports Launch Monitors. Todd, thank you so much for coming out from Georgia, bringing all the launch monitors and giving us all of this great technology and the data points. One thing that the professionals Todd, that were telling me all along the way and just a minute ago, they are so happy that their spin rates on those drivers mm -hmm. are around 2,300. Yep. Tell me a little bit more about the ESB1 
Ernest Sports Launch Monitor sure. and what it means for the amateurs that are watching us right now. Absolutely. The, the, the ESB-1 is our flagship portable uh, range specific launch monitor. It'll collect six data points, ball, spin, uh, distance, a smash factor, as well as launch angle. Uh, for an amateur player to know the distance mm -hmm. is probably the biggest thing. Yeah, you need to know the difference between a six and an eight iron. Exactly, and most amateur players might think they hit their eight iron, say 150 yards, but you know, they might only hit 140. And if you know that you only hit it 140, I mean, you can take that out to the golf course and really use that to, to great effect. If you're short right a lot, like I am, and a lot of amateurs, let's get the ESB-1 in our hands and let's get some data points, Todd. Absolutely. Very affordable, very affordable. The ESB-1 from Ernest Sports. Thanks for being our technology partner. Lots more coming. The pros and the sons are waiting for more data. Good, Good shots, guys. Would you like the pin out, guys? We do. Yeah. Oh, yep. Thank you. Here's Thomas with the first look at birdie. Stroke. Good roll. It's a better stroke. Oh, Front of the gosh. edge. That was a good roll on it. Really good stroke there. And now Tom. Did he get it high enough? Mm-hmm. He's got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you oh, went left. Oh, it was right in the middle of the hole. I go left. Oh my it was, gosh. It just stopped turning. It was turning. It, it broke. It I mean, went it was, left. It was right in the center. Here's Sean. Left. It's online. Did he hit it? And now Mark for the win. That went oh, right. that went right. We'll get back to the action after these messages. As I approach any green, I'm already engaging in a putt. And walking up here, I could see this green slopes right to left. I've got an uphill putt. So I'm gonna take my on-point 3D ball marker, and I'm gonna guess that this putt's breaking a cut, maybe a touch more. But what I really love about it is the visualization I have from above. And looking at this, I think I need to adjust, add just a touch more break, right? Take a look from back here, and. I absolutely love where the ball marker's pointed. I think we're lined up great. If I like to put a line on my ball, it's easy to line up with the on-point marker. The only thing left to do is execute. When I stand over a putt, really the only two things I'm thinking about are hitting this putt really solid and good speed. Bobby Jones, 30 years of classic style for the modern man, now brings you the Jones Performance Cotton Polo. Lightweight and luxurious cotton hand feel with moisture wicking comfort. The Jones Performance Cotton Polo is engineered with an exclusive blend of carefully selected cotton and the optimal balance of modal and spandex. It's the perfect combination of classic styling and modern fabric technology. Designed for comfort, engineered for performance and built to last. Look good and stay comfortable whether you're out on the town or out on the course. The Jones Performance Cotton features a three button placket with the iconic Bobby Jones player embroidery for superior comfort, style and versatility. Get it all in the Jones Performance Cotton Polo. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. All right, we've got the O'Meara's one up over here on occasion number eight, the last par three, the last chance for you guys to get it closest to the pin, I'm just saying. <laughs> but our friends at Ernest Sports are the sponsor on this closest to the pin. Sean's pulled a six iron. That's like halfway there. What'd you hit, six? Toey, it's just, yeah, I hung it. Oh. Okay. You got it on the green. I don't mind that. There you go. That was a six iron. Huh? Yeah, it's a six iron. Mark's going with a four iron. Well, to the right. Yeah. I think you hit a little left. bit left of the flag, the wind should push it. Where that okay. bunker? Bunker? Bunker boys. Thomas has a seven iron in his hands. Oh, they're on the board? Yes, sir. That they're looks on the good. board. That looks good. Oh, there we go. There. Good right. shot, bud. Yeah. That's a good there you go. Good shot. That's, far, far That's far closest right there, I think. Now Tom with a five iron trying to get inside Thomas's shot. No. Go. Fly. No. Fly. Well yeah. done, boys. Yep. The layman's. Layman's are on the board. Didn't get a shutout. 
Here's Sean for birdie. Rich. Sorry. Oh, I did. Got there. Stop. <laughs> Not bad. I think it moves mostly, like you were saying, on the hill, and then once it's on top, it doesn't move much. So I would say maybe a ball and a half more than what we were originally looking at. Because I hit a good putt on that line, and it was just low the whole way. Mark for birdie. Why not? Oh, good Mo. Good roll. Now Thomas putting up the ridge. Great putt. Good line. Good speed. Good roll, bud. Tom for the win. I'll lay low. <laughs> Take it away. Go to eight, last hole. Okay, so we just finished the fifth of the closest to the pin challenges, and the layman's got on the scoreboard thanks to Thomas. Ernest Boards clocked him with a 96 miles per hour with his seven iron for his club speed. Not too shabby. Not bad at all. So we're heading to the last hole. The O'Meara's have a one up lead, but I got a feeling these two guys aren't going to let him off that easy. Hopefully not. <laughs> All right, we're at the final hole, number 18, at the Father's Day match for a cause. Team O'Meara has a one-up lead. Whew, that means the layman's have a little bit of work, but we know a little bit of their strategy from the green before. But let me ask the O'Meara's, what's your strategy to win this match? Well, I think our strategy is, first of all, to get our drives in the fairway. You know, if Sean hits a good drive, then, you know, the pressure will be back on the layman's, but they're still certainly still in the ball game. I would never count out Tom and Thomas. <laughs> Scramble format, what do you have to do? Well, first of all, Marco Mira is a great speaker. He always says the right thing, always has, always will. But <laughs> we, the pressure is on us, and, he, and Mark is right that the, the drive is the key. you got to put the ball in play off the tee. And, um, we're going to have to make a three to even have a chance. So we, we need to play this hole aggressively. Former world number one, Hall of Fame. Here we go. Sean's up first. Kaboom. Hey. Yeah, Hang on. It's right. it kind of lands soft, no, I think. That water's really far, I think. Isn't it? I think it's pretty far, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it kicked oh, right. Got a good bounce right. Oh, God bless him. Oh, man, oh, man. That's oh, a man, member's oh, bounce man. right there. <laughs> good shot, Marco. Thank you. Yeah. Back against Pure. The wall. Yeah. Thomas with the pressure oh, on. Oh my gosh, that oh. was money. Best one of the day. Thank you. Held it up, beautiful drive. That's unreal. That's a way to swing at it, Thomas. Beautiful, Thomas. Thank you. And now Tom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Very Beauty. Nice. Team O'Meara's up first. Uh, just tugged it. I don't want to go there. Like it's fine, that'll bunker. be in a bunker probably. It's in that back bunker. Mark needs to get this one on the green for sure. Carry, carry. Oh, I played long, huh? He I likes it. The layman's have to make something happen oh, here. Oh, good. Well, really looking good there. Get really good bit. swing there, Thomas. Get up a little bit. Oh, look at this. Soft. Go in. That's a good back. shot. Oh, back edge. Back Great range. swing, bud. Let's see if Tom can dial in a number. Oh, that's sounding good. Well, that's nice. Good strike. Keep going. Lovely. Yeah, good shot. Nice good shot. shot there, Tom. Thank you. Sean from the greenside bunker. Ah, get out. There's a lot more sand in here than that last bunker we played in. Here's Mark looking for some magic. Oh, yeah. Go in. Oh, oh. what a shot. Good shot. Well done there, Mo. Thomas for eagle downhill. Easy, easy. Oh, Hang on. Man, that thing's fast. That didn't give me a good now it's Tom's turn. Oh. He just barely touched it, and look at it wow. run. Sheesh, that was Jeez, fast, Tom. huh? Sean for birdie. Yep. Oh, went didn't left. move. Went didn't left, move eh? at all. Pushed oh, it. Oh, he missed it. That leaves the door open for Team Lehman. Oh, that's good. Pick him up. That's good. Thomas to win the hole and force a playoff. I just want to start, guys. Very nice. Thank you. So we'll head back to the 18th tee box. Team Lehman, with the momentum, will have the honors. Ready. A uh, really good swing. Good shot, Thomas. Thank you. Peeler. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good, Good one, one there. Thank you. 
Beauty. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Four beautiful drives indeed. Team O'Meara is up first, going with Sean's drive. His approach ends up safely on the green. You can see Mark shot there on the front of the green. I'd say advantage Team Lehman right now. Thomas bombed his drive right down the middle. He's got 152 left. And look at that. Beautiful shot to about six feet. Here's Tom. That one's a little right. Wish I wouldn't have towed mine. I would have got back there if I did. It's okay though, this is straight up the hill right to left. The O'Meara's are going with Mark's shot. Here's Sean, straight up the hill. It's a good putt. Good speed. All right, good putt. Nice putt. putt. Now it's Mark's turn for Eagle. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Stay. Oof. Good one, Mo. Right edge. Yeah, it could break a little more than the last one because it's a little different angle. Yeah, just edge, just outside the edge, one or the other. Knock it in. Thomas, four eagle, and the win. There you go. All right, Thomas. Well nice done. Eagle. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> hey, nice guys. eagle, bud. Nice, nice eagle, bud. Good plan. Good one. Nice one. <laughs> I'll nice shake your hand. Really, yeah. hey, thanks yeah, for doing thanks. this. Okay. Yeah, buddy, I appreciate thanks, it. Tommy. No thanks. worries. Thank you. Hey, All right. Enjoy it, guys. So much fun. The greatest. Nice right. job. Right. Sure. Nice hey, job. Right, well fun. done. That's hey. a great hey. eagle there. Just Thanks. like last year against the triplets, you made the winning putt <laughs> two years in a row. All right, here we are at the 18th green. It's all finished. The Father's Day match for a cause. Second year won by Team Layman Thomas. The young professional stripes it a million yards down the middle of the fairway. A great second shot into the green, about 10 feet short. For the eagle putt, he steps up. I know you're the proud papa. And he makes the eagle putt to beat Team O'Meara. My goodness, what a great finish to this match. And of course, all of it for the cause, Elevate Phoenix. And we know the teams are proud of their play. We are of them. Tom, let me start with you. Tell me about playing against Team O'Meara today and what this day means. Well, first of all, we've had two, two of these events now. And last year with the triplets, as we all know, it went so well. And they're such wonderful people. Uh, so great events uh, are only great events because you have great individuals involved and I can't think of a, a better pair than having the O'Meara's here today and, and we're so grateful. Uh, Mark is you know, a Hall of Fame golfer, uh, his career speaks for itself, but uh, Mark O'Meara the person, uh, I only goes so far as looking at Sean, you know what a great job he's done as a father. So um, I think to have uh, the O'Meara's here for us today uh, to support what we're doing, Elevate Phoenix, to be with Thomas and I, we're, we're just very grateful. Mark. Yep. What does it mean to play against your buddy, longtime you know, competitor? Yep. You've been back and forth and up and down, back and forth with each other, but I know great friends to be out here today and compete against Team Lehman. Well, I know when I got the call from Tom, asked me to come down, I thought it would be a great opportunity, certainly to, to come and play with Tom and Thomas and then bring Sean along and you know, spend a Father's Day match like this, certainly for Elevate Phoenix, and then the fact that you know, our competition that Tom and I have had over the years has always been tremendous. He's a great competitor. Um, and, you know, we just are proud to be a small part of today and really enjoyed him really having us. It's been a lot of fun. Jill Strite, our LPGA professional from Versatile Golf. It's a great day. Tell me about it. It was a great day. Oh, I, I mean, every single shot, the competition, the banter, the back and forth, even between the fathers and sons, yeah. it was great. So we're just thrilled to be here again. All right, well, thank you all so very much. And right now, we have a trophy presentation. All right, we're at the 18th green, and it's time for the trophy presentation for Team Lehman, our winners. And to help me do that is Jasmine Hall. She's the Executive Director of Development with Elevate Phoenix. And this is the Father's Day match for a cause, and there's the cause. Jasmine Hall, thank you so much for being here today. Very quickly, tell me, what is Elevate Phoenix? Well, Ray, Elevate Phoenix, we're a nonprofit organization impacting lives. And when I say we go in to offer our opportunities, we do that with a smile on our face to make sure every student knows that we will be their hope holder to hold that hope for them until they can hold it for themselves. And here's the hope holder trophy. And Jasmine, I think you have a special presentation to Team Layman. I do. And 
on behalf of not only Elevate Phoenix, but also AZ Turf and more, and of course, Troon. Tom, her amazing leader, we would love to present this over to you and Thomas. That's awesome. Thank you so Thank much, you. Jasmine. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Yeah. You know, um, those kids who we serve, who are those kids who have are least advantaged in Phoenix, Arizona, who have, you want to call them at risk, you can. I mean, they, uh, what we're doing today to raise money, you know, just benefits their lives in such amazing ways. So we're so thrilled to be a part of this today. It's really cool to get this trophy. I'm so proud of my son. Uh, you know, it, it, for Mark and I to play with our boys, who we're both so proud of, uh, you know, who they are as professional young men, who they are as people more than anything, is something really special. So this, this trophy is very cool. We really appreciate it. And I do think we have um, a couple of thank yous to AZ Turf and Moore and to Troon for the amazing uh, partnership in this event. We couldn't do it without great partners. Uh, Thomas, why don't you hand that over that direction and hand that over that direction. And, and uh, thank you so much for the, the support of what we're doing. Um, um, great events need great partners and, and uh, you certainly are that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris Strauss from Troon for being here and for providing all of this wonderful venue. What a host, what a golf course. We loved it, thank you. Well, it's great to have you at Weston Kierlin Resort and uh, credit goes to Dan and Nancy and the entire team here for putting on a great venue and, and an amazing championship golf. So congratulations to the Laymans and, uh, and, and congratulations to Elevate Phoenix as well. Great cause. And Tracy, AZ Turf and Moore for the second year. What a great sponsor. Thank you so much and enjoy your gift. Thank you very much. And on behalf of like Elevate Phoenix, I want to say thank you for having us again. And uh, the layman's great job. Two years in a row, man, will they ever lose? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> and there is Nancy Dickens. She's our director of golf here at the Western Kierland Golf Club. Nancy, thank you so much. Your team, your staff, unparalleled service. We loved it and what a golf course. Everybody had a ball. It's been a pleasure. What a thrill to have great champions like Tom Lehman and Mark O'Meara and their sons. It's been a delightful day and we appreciate it as well. And congratulations to Ele Elevate Phoenix. Thank you. We have so many wonderful sponsors and more. Thank you so much, all of you, for making this happen today. And for you at home, make sure you tune in to more Match Play TV. <laughs> important to start your day by getting your energy flowing and your body ready. That's great, but some days I need more. If you want to be great at something, it takes hard work and focus. Other times, I want more. There's nothing better than finding time to slow down for a meal with family and friends. Is there a chance of even more? It's absolutely amazing when you can sit around a fire to finish off the day. I'm so glad I found a place for all my mores. Quality products at a fair price.